Spend 100 or more and get a free 20 pound or less frozen turkey, while supplies last. That was the promotion our store ran every Thanksgiving for the last 17 years. Well, for as long as I've been here, that is. But not this year. This year, we're not running a promotion. I really can't blame them after what happened last year. Let me tell you what happened. First off, my name's Jim. I'm the meat manager here at Barnaby's. I saw the whole thing. It was two days before Thanksgiving. I was working the morning shift like I always do. It was around 11 o'clock, I'd say. We just received our truck, but unfortunately the turkeys we ordered were out of stock from the warehouse. For those of you that don't know what that means, it means the warehouse didn't have any to send us. Shit. This isn't good. I said to myself. I went to the case to see how many we actually had left. All we had was one. One lone turkey. Fuck. Then it happened. From opposite ends of the aisle came two women. One, an older Asian woman. And two, a younger blonde, Barbie wannabe. They both arrived at this case at the same time. I informed them that this was the last turkey we had due to the warehouse issue. Their eyes widened with fear and shock as they both turned to the freezer case door. The Asian woman grabbed the door and flung it open, hitting Barbie in the face and knocking her back. Barbie screamed like some kind of demon, charged and grabbed Asian by the hair, spinning her around and slamming her head first into the adjacent glass freezer case door, nearly missing a small child that stood with her mother in the aisle. She grabbed her kid and ran. Now, Barnaby's is a very old store. We still have actual glass freezer doors. Anyway, a few seconds went by and Asian crawled out of the case and turned. Pieces of glass were stuck in her face, arms, and her neck. She was bleeding like a pig. She pulled the rather large piece of glass from her neck, holding it in her hand, blood dripping. She tried covering the wound with her other hand, but blood was just gushing out from between her fingers. I swear to God, I almost puked all over myself. Anyway, she screamed and charged Barbie as she was lifting the turkey out of the case. She drove that piece of glass directly into Barbie's heart, knocking back against the freezer case door. Barbie coughed up blood and spewed it right in Asian's face as she screamed in pain. Then, in slow motion, both fell to the floor, as well as the turkey, which rolled halfway down the aisle. Blood everywhere. People screaming and running. One guy tried to jump over them but slipped in the blood and face planted right into an abandoned shopping cart. I'm sorry, but that shit was funny. He was okay, though. He got up and staggered away. We are trained not to interfere with robbers, shoplifters, and even fights such as this, so I just stood there. I guess one of the customers who wasn't videotaping on their phones or a manager or someone called the cops. They showed up and closed the store down. The paramedics showed up, did their thing, as the employees, including myself, moved any customers up to the front for checkout. As I was walking back through the store to make sure there were no more customers, I saw paramedics covering the bodies with white sheets. They died, right there, in aisle 12. I saw the turkey still laying there on the floor, still frozen. I picked it up as I needed one myself. Take it to the front, paid for it, 
gave the cops my statement, and brought it home to my family. My wife cooked it up, and we had an amazing Thanksgiving dinner. The best part was the turkey, though. Yeah. That thing was to die for. <laughs>